second one. We got an iteration path here. So I wanna have that mapped <clears throat> to another custom field. So first things first is we wanna send it over. So here we can see we send over the iteration path, wonderful. So now we go to the incoming sync and let's say for example, map the iteration path that is coming from Azure DevOps as, let's just take this. to a custom field in this Jira cloud. So just want to be as specific as possible. That is called, and then let's copy paste it. Okay. And then let's send it out. On the next use case, I will make it a little bit more complex. And then I'll also show you where we can find more API values. So here we can see that the replica iteration that's coming here, we are putting it on the custom field here. So <clears throat> we're just going to add dot value here, because you can see here it's also dot value. All right, so let's publish it. And then let's make an update. Because remember, for every create or update, event exalate will trigger. So we can just change the priority again. And then that iteration path should be going over to this custom field. So ha let's have a look. Let's refresh our instance. And we can see that the iteration path appeared here. So the